Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, the 100th Season 7 trailer is here. We've had a couple of promos over the last few days, but the trailer has finally been released, with less than two weeks to go before the season premiere. The 100 always does this. They only release the trailer with like a week or two until premiere, this time it being because of what's going on in the world of course. In this trailer there is a lot going on, I will purposely skip over some things as I have no real insight or theories about them in favour of other things, but please comment what you think below. So we start off with a view of the anomaly, with the symbolism being how important it will be this season, and with Clark saying farewell to her mother who she threw out an earlock last season. Then we get Dioza and Octavia. Now whether this scene is the first or second time in the anomaly for Octavia is unknown, but I'd put my money on the first time. Also I would say that the soldiers with the weird helmets coming out might also be the first time, and that might be the he that Hope mentioned when she stabbed Octavia. What we know is that the anomaly bends time, or as we find out, is a wormhole, so someone gone for seconds in the real world could have been gone for years in the anomaly which I hope they play with a lot this season, as it is teased that it will see some use. There are some theories that the lads in the suits are actually Second Dawn, which I actually love the idea of. For anyone unfamiliar, Second Dawn is the cult that created the bunker that one crew was formed in. In flashbacks through Maddie, we see they were around after the apocalypse, and burned Becca Promheda at the stake, but we never see what happened to them because they were fine until they weren't, and since they couldn't go outside, where did they go? An interesting idea is that if time travel becomes an option, and our characters return to Earth, is it possible they come out in the bunker? Then from there, the cult has access to travel, which is why we see them now. It's an interesting one, and I, it would really explain a lot, but I don't know if that's the route they'll go. We also get flashbacks of Season 1 and Season 5, inferring that they will use this wormhole to time travel. It's kept vague on purpose why they will time travel and what the real purpose is, but it will likely have something to do with you are the key to winning the last war mankind will ever wage. Whether that is an allegory for peace of humankind, or the extinction of humankind, who knows. But it is stated that we're the last of the human race, so it feels more like extinction. We can also see about five of our heroes travelling to what can only be called the Snow Planet, as we don't know what it is. It could possibly be a part of Earth, although we should see things come full circle as there has been a lot of thoughts around Lex's tattoo, with there being a theory that this is Sanctum. This is Sanctum's moon and the two suns, as well as the anomaly being the line through it. This is possible, and if we see the return of Lexa, possibly before she was commander, we could see where this tattoo came from. I'm not sure if I'm with this theory as the tattoo is explained by her, but we don't really know how much Lexa knows, and if time travel is introduced, this tattoo, like the word polis, could be misinterpreted. From the trailer, we also know that the difference between survival and humanity, so peace versus violence, will continue to be a plot point as well. Also, Russell, at least by the looks of it, will remain an antagonist in this season. Also, something that I quite liked was that at the end of the trailer, only for a second or so, as the anomaly goes over the land, a skeleton can be seen, which seems like it might be quite significant just by the way it was hidden, or it is just a subtle way of saying that the anomaly will bring death. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. There is a lot more in the trailer, but I believe I covered the big ones. If you have any theories, please let me know in the comments. And let me know what your predictions are for the next season. I will of course be reviewing each episode when it is released, so make sure to subscribe for that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in 12 days.